Creative Watercolor, a step-by-step -step guide for beginners by Anita Victoria Calderon. So you do get six types of chapters. So and come on. Yeah. It's green. Okay, yeah, so you can kind of see it now of the contents. There we go. And it tells you under each which what's on um under each. So like butterflies and other creatures, drawing to trick, butterfly poses, ladybugs, beetles, projects and ideas. And so you kind of get that for um, each six chapters. And then after that, you get more project ideas, alphabet activity samplers, um, some resources, and then the usual kind of ending. So you get supplies, scanning project, lettering, painting different things, um, some photos along with um, the items I've talked about. You get some projects shown like fo foliage, butterfly, citrus fruit, and some other stuff. Um, colored boxes are some extra tips. And at the end of each chapter, it gives um, some projects like cards, invitation, a, like picture, print, kind of thing. And um, the resources is basically skill, skill, Skillshare and some supply websites. So um, this is likely not gonna show except at an angle. Um, you get a, like the color wheel, um, color and watercolor. So like the color wheel, kind of thing, color theory um, setup, and let's see if me dimming down the light helps any. So you get information with examples there. I did not copy much from here. But anyway, it's an like interesting book if you want to um, feel like you're not quite as a beginner, but still at that beginner type phase, but also um, improved your skill a bit and more verging on that intermediate kind of work. Um, study so it's a nice little book to uh, have a look at so creative watercolor a step-by-step -step guide for beginners happy readings